Hello friends from Yoshi Gang, Therese here and welcome back to not a leak video. I know it's very shocking. But before we do get into today's video, if you could just do me a teeny tiny little favour, click that subscribe button. We're just over 50 subscribers away from 4,000 and it would be so great if we could hit it maybe even today. So if you're not already, please do subscribe. Line of Duty Scott Kelly McDonald tip to be next Doctor Who. Now this is from the Daily Record, which I believe is a Scottish tabloid. I could be wrong, judging by the fact that there's like Pride of Scotland awards being advertised here. But if anyone has any more information on this tabloid, please let me know. It's by Christine McStay, and she's the showbiz writer. Line of Duty's Kelly McDonald could be set to play Doctor Who, according to Bookie's Ladbrokes. The train spotting star is just 12 to 1 in the betting to replace Jodie Whittaker. Having played the lead role in the latest series of Line of Duty, while Chris Marshall and Michaela Cole continue to head the betting at 6-1 to one apiece. Now I will say, the betting people are never right. I can't remember an example in recent history where their first bet has been correct. I remember them talking about Peter Capaldi and Johnny Wicker towards the end of the betting process, but I've never heard them come out with one that is remotely accurate, at least first time around. So um, yeah, take this obviously with like a massive grain of salt. There's a very slim chance of this being true, but it, it'd be interesting if it was. The current Dr. Judy Whittaker is set to quit the show after three years in the role. The 38-year-old who became the first female to play the famous character will leave the show at the end of the next series, when she will regenerate into the 14th Time Lord. The actress told producers her plans to stick to the tradition of giving up the role of Doctor Who after three stints. The star is said to be keen to take on new roles, with the producers preparing for the next regeneration. MacDonald is currently causing chaos as DCI Joanne Davidson in a BBC show alongside Martin Compson and Vicky McClure. But many would be delighted to see her take on the role as the famous Doctor. I haven't seen her in anything, so I can't say how I'd feel about it. Because I haven't watched Line of Duty yet. I made a tweet the other day saying, Am I the only guy in Britain who just doesn't watch or really care about Line of Duty? And um, apparently I was. If she's good in that, then I have hope. I mean, it makes sense from a BBC perspective for them to bring on someone who's from like their most popular show right now. Alex Apati of Lambrook said, The race to replace Judy Wicker is more wide open than it's ever been, and Line of Duty fans will be pleased to see Kelly McDonald's odds have tumbled substantially over the past few weeks. She just said, I'd have to think about it. The shock, really, was when I read the first episode. Suddenly it was just, oh, there's a massive long stream of dialogue and stuff I've never heard of. I'd have to get over that obstacle in my mind, because I knew that was going to be quite challenging. Kelly, who has been living stateside since 2010, starring in TV drama Boardwalk Empire, had, to lo had a lot to catch up on, but admits other cast and crew helped her out. She said there would be certain acronyms we would discuss in rehearsals, and hair and makeup had a list of what everything stood for. I'm not brilliant, but I still get by. Okay, so that's that article. It's interesting, because she could well be the next Oct. Right now, you know, anyone could be the next Doctor, because that's the thing about the role at the minute, is that it could literally be played by anyone. I find it interesting that, like, she was confused by quirky abbreviations from Doctor Who. I mean, it makes sense. If you're new to the show and you've never heard, like, any of it before, you may be very confused by some of the things that the Doctor comes out with. But as I said, this probably isn't going to happen. The bookies are never correct with these things, but it'd be interesting if it did. And I'm sure she'd do a fine job if she's the lead of Line of Duty. But let me know what you guys think, comment down below your thoughts and subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.